If you haven't been under a rock these past few months, you know that the watch market has been taking severe blows to the face. Why? Well, 2022 has given us the Ukrainian war, economic crisis, inflation, massive sales of smartwatches, and so much more, good and bad alike. And what's worse, people are not buying luxury watches, or so the recent turbulence would have us believe. Contrary to some opinions, Rolex wait lists are not getting shorter. Hmm, strange, right? If people aren't buying luxury products, then how? Well, numbers don't lie, and we will bring you some pretty decent stats. Because yes, the wait lists are growing, so you better hop on one now. Here's the thing, recently there had been a lot of discussion and debate going on over one particular topic on YouTube. It's interesting to note that there's even more stuff on Google and a great deal of conversation is taking place in various online communities regarding the Rolex wait lists. Why? You see, a lot of people are under the impression that the wait lists are getting shorter. And we can honestly say that we understand why. People are avoiding purchasing pricey goods as a result of the global economic crisis and inflation that is currently taking place. Because all of that has happened, the watch business, particularly in the Asian markets, has taken a hit. But guys, we kind of disagree, okay? We do disagree for sure. The wait lists for Rolex watches aren't getting any shorter. The waiting lists are getting longer. As it turns out, people are still spending a ton of money on luxury watches, and Rolex is managing to keep up with the competition. They're not sinking, they are standing firm. But before you frown and turn away, we have proof. Yes, today we are in a position to support our position with evidence. So, the Watches of Switzerland group reported yet another quarter of healthy growth and rising waiting lists approximately three months ago. Brian Duffy, the chief executive of the group, asserts that client registration of interest lists, the new name for waiting lists, are getting longer. You see, and quite interesting, the momentum was strong for the entirety of the first quarter, and that tendency has persisted up until this most recent quarter. Luxury watch companies, despite widespread anxiety about the economy, are reporting an increase in the number of clients interested in their products. After the company reported earnings for the 13 weeks ending July 31st, the first quarter of its fiscal year 2023, shares of WOSG increased by over 4% in the morning trading session. Shares are currently trading at 916 points, which is significantly higher than their July low of 724 points, but still significantly below their all-time high of 1,600 points. Company valuation has dropped from a high of £3.5 billion to £2.2 billion. What's more, sales in the United Kingdom are up 8% year over year to £239 million. And sales in the United States are up 100% year over year to £152 million, or let's say 76% in constant currency. Last quarter's results include contributions from numerous American outlets that WOSG acquired at year's end. In November of last year, Watches of Switzerland purchased Betteridge in Greenwich, Connecticut, Timeless Luxury in Plano, Texas, and a Benbridge boutique in the Mall of America outside of Minneapolis. Taking away the contribution from these outlets reduces the rate of growth in the United States to 58% at constant currency. The third quarter worldwide generated £342 million in revenue, or 88% of total revenue. This is flat from the same period last year. The value of jewellery increased by 36% year over year to £27 million. The company's quarterly earnings report coincided with the announcement that a Rolex flagship store will open on London's Bond Street the following year. The group plans to invest between 70 and 80 million pounds in capital expenditures this fiscal year, much of which will go towards setting up shop in the United Kingdom. The full year sales and adjusted EBIT profit projections of 1.45 to 1.5 billion pounds and 172 to 184 million pounds, respectively, are unchanged from the fiscal year 22 year-end report. Now let's talk global. 
The global luxury watch industry set new sales records in 2018, and that money is being put towards increased advertising and promotion in 2019, such as the March 30 return of Watches and Wonders to Geneva. As a result, this is good news for businesses like Watches of Switzerland, as stated by Mr. Duffy. He argues that the luxury watch industry is dynamic, with interesting advancements in new goods and marketing across a broad variety of companies. Even though everyone is benefiting from the rising tide, the group is confident in its ability to compete thanks to several distinct factors. Within a large, diffuse and growing market, they seem to be benefiting from their distinctive business model. Specifically, their investment in leading store design, the strength of their brand partnerships, their international scale, their bold marketing campaigns, their advanced systems technology, and their dedication to the client experience. Furthermore, they continue to focus on gaining new clients and growing market share in the UK and the US. The economic sky is darkening, yes. Households are cutting back as inflation rises and dealers are unloading overpriced models onto the secondary market. Yet WOSG seems unconcerned. While they continue to monitor the wider macroeconomic environment, and we will too, they believe that the strength of the luxury watch category with its unique supply-demand dynamics, together with the success and flexibility of their model, will continue to support long-term, sustainable, strong sales growth. In case you're wondering, yes, the group loves their models. So you see, numbers don't lie, right? Many ADs have confirmed that truly people are still interested in buying and the wait lists are growing. Now the question is, how can you improve your chances of getting the Rolex you want? The wait lists aren't getting shorter, so the best thing to do is up your game. First and foremost, if you want to increase your chances of winning that Rolex, you'll need to put in some effort. Remember, if purchasing one of these watches was easy, then every person on the planet would own one. Having said that, here are three strategies you'd love and, if followed, could boost the likelihood of your being chosen from the Rolex waitlist. You can improve your chances of being able to purchase the Rolex you want from a genuine shop by employing one or more of the following three strategies, or a combination of these strategies. Never lose sight of the fact that if these wristwatches weren't easy to acquire, everyone would be wearing one. You will need to put in some effort if you want to ensure that you get exactly what it is that you want out of a buy. So at number one, you have to talk to several different dealers. There is a disparity in quality between the various Rolex retailers. Certain individuals place a larger priority on connections than they do on purchase history. Make appointments at several different stores, discuss your wishes and needs with the sales associates, and figure out which store's Rolex waitlist is best for you to increase the likelihood of receiving the watch you desire. When you've been to a few different stores, you'll probably have a good idea of which one is going to be the lucky one for you right away. Next, make your way to the top. The vast majority of individuals would do anything to be able to own one of Rolex's exquisite timepieces. Even if it's probable that you won't be able to sign up for the Rolex waitlist at this time, that shouldn't stop you from loving the brand and establishing a credit history with every purchase you make. Even if it is impossible to get a pre-owned Rolex for less than the price of which it was originally sold, this appears to be an excellent way to test out many different models before settling on one that you want to purchase. Having said that, there is a single cautionary note that we want to add to this strategy. Do not let yourself be fooled by sales techniques. Only purchase something that you really want. If you are committed to collecting Rolex timepieces, your best choice is, to begin with, the models that are considered entry level and then gradually upgrade as your financial situation improves. Then, continue to expand the relationship. Always keep this tactic in mind, especially if you're interested in purchasing an extremely rare Rolex, so that you may maximize your chances of success. It is entirely up to the discretion of the merchant to decide which customers to sell Rolexes to. Be certain that you are the one they call, and not the person who is more likely to be forgotten. About the length of the wait lists, listen, the watch brands don't seem to be blinking, so why should we? Now is the time to buy.